Hello and welcome to Divine Unisoul's 11. I am Divine Sunshine. I am coming with you. I had two songs come to me about a DM, um, which played on, I call it my jukebox, uh, Soul Heart. Uh, and the message was, uh, this one's for Popcorn Love for New Edition. <laughs> I said, Popcorn Love is more than that to me. Popcorn Love. <laughs> Just wait. They will see. So, um, what's happening? Excuse me, my voice is going in. I don't know who's having it. Could be me about something about communication and vocalizing, or it could be my other ex outer expression is doing it too. Um, something's going on with them. Um, you know, we always feel each other, and either comes out on the physical or on the other ones, and they have some emotional something going on. Um, so that's what's going down. So what I am seeing here is I'm reading the lyrics here, and I can't play it because I don't want to copyright stuff. But, but they kind of let things go now here lately. But I don't know where they got this new thing. So it said, don't you know, don't you know, don't you know? It's the real thing, girl. They say it's popcorn love, but it's more than that to me. Popcorn love, just wait, they will see. It's popcorn love every morning, noon, and night. Popcorn love, don't you know, don't you know, don't you know? When we go on those special dates... We're always holding hands. We're never, ever late. You're on my mind all the time. I keep <laughs> I keep thinking, thinking, I keep thinking. Popcorn love, back to that again. I go to school and then come straight home. The first thing that I do is calling you on the phone. The thing you can say or really make my day. I need you, girl, in every kind of way. Okay, and... Uh, they 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 spelling out popcorn. So popcorn love is her personality. O is for her originality. P is the perfect love she gives to me. C is just cause she loves me. O, I didn't even know this. <laughs> Means she is the only love I got. R, and the end. Our love will never end. Well, I know, I know it's the real thing because she told me so. And I know, I know it's the real thing. And they'll never go, never let her go. I just got to, I just got to have your love. Popcorn love is more than that to me. Popcorn love, just wait, they will see. Interesting. I see a lot of things that pop off on this. Okay, so to me, again, this is personality, originality. That's like describing the divine feminine energies. There are people that I pick up from this um, in which I'm charging. So if I bring it over here, I'm sorry, I'll give you a side view. Um, there are people in this DM's life that are trying to tell them and persuade them that, hey, listen here, I understand you talk about this person in X, Y, and Z. However, uh, I don't know about that. You know, you might want to kind of rethink that. You know, it might not be that serious. You sure? They think it is popcorn love, which is like it's a little thing, microwave. It's like a fad. It's it's a flirt. It'll be big right now. Oh, you know how he operate or how she operate. It's a big thing now, but tomorrow she'll be over it or he'll be over it. Um, he's telling her, no, that ain't what that is. Uh, it's a lot of things that's going on. They're seeing that when I see him saying he goes to school, he is almost similar to the other DM. If you look in, look at that one called Foolish Heart um, Energies, um, feels that, again, they're too going off to school. They're learning a lot of things in life about things that's going on. Uh, when they come to school, straight home, um, to me, it's again, it's like they take that information that they have learned. Home will be in the heart and really internalize what things they have, lessons they have really actually learned. So this is like, again, they're awakened. This is not like a person that, oh, that happened, that's it, forget it. It's like maybe at night they're thinking they're laying in the bed, they're thinking about it, or they have their quiet, quiet moments at home, cooking or whatever like that, and it just comes to them. Uh uh, it really uh, feel like again that it's um, this is resting on their mind and internalizing that's because again of the divine feminine energies within them or the divine feminine energies expressions on the outside which is, means the actual the, um, person that's in their life their counterpart 
and it's causing them to really take introspection about things. Beforehand, I'm picking up with this DM. It was like, yeah, that happened. It's just, you know, water off a duck's back. I'm not really taking it in. I'm not really absorbing these lessons. You know, I'm much bigger than this. Oh, yeah, okay, I hear you. Maybe the Divine Feminine might have been talking to him about spirituality, um, trying to help them to kind of understand it or other people. And he wasn't really at a point in place to, to hear it because ego was really strongly taken over. However, now where this DM is at, he is able to he, uh, hear it because he said he's been doing a lot of thinking, 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 thinking. Uh, and so in doing this, in, in, in this thinking, he has came up with the, the answer that, hey, this is right. Um, and this is due to him being more introspective. This is him being more in tune with his heart because of the lessons that he's learned in life. Um, and he's breaking it down. He's like, he's, he, again, this is the love that he wants morning, noon, and night. Um, it's popcorn love again. It's like, again, when he does, either you talk to him physically or even when you talk to him, um, uh, through the 5th D communications or telepathically, you know, that stuff that you say to him really hits the heart. Um, and, you know, you be thinking, you just say that, you get off the phone and say, he ain't thinking about it no more. You know, just like the things they say to you, it hits you. Um, but again, it's like, you know, they're like, this this person is like, or she's saying, no, you know, it really, it really lingers. It hits me really deep, soul deep. Um, these conversations that you have. And it really makes my day when I talk to you uh, on this. And so um, he's like, I need you, girl. You know, and it's like, I remember seeing that on Facebook when a person that said, uh, no, I don't need you because I need you. Like in desperacy, it's need you because I want you in my life, you know, because I love you. It's the difference. Beforehand, it's like, I said, like, said it was like I needed you because, oh, you cued you on my arm. It's nice little arm candy. Or uh, before I needed you because desperately you helped me make me feel much better ego wise. But this now is it became more. It's more to more to me. It's more of it to me than it was before in previous things. So because all this thinking, 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 he's not adjusting and say things are right. And so like he, I love how he broke it down with the, uh, through the song, using it, that is, again, is your personality. I understand maybe beforehand when he was talking to you or you all had been in each other's presence, whether it's 3D or 50, um, the personality understand. I kind of feel like maybe wasn't understanding your personality because you were very kind of off the beat, kind of quirky, got a little kind of interesting viewpoint of some things but it's like no i've i've learned to accept and i like that that new fresh perspective of there's different minds to look at things how you very original you know i like that now um that right now he's just saying you're just perfect right now you're the perfect love for him uh see because she loves me i mean you have expressed it and you probably have expressed and also have done unconditional love uh, with this divine mask and, and, and sometimes he's like I don't understand it I don't deserve it and rejected it because he wasn't in the right place to receive um, that type of love and um, oh you're the only uh, love I got you know I'm figuring uh, that uh, and I'm challenging in some ways that they're saying that you know the other things that I thought was love was not really love. You're the only one that truly loves me. That's why I feel them saying, you're the only love I got. You're the only one that really truly loved me, loves me. And beforehand, I thought they did, but that's not really love. You know, uh, your unconditional don't want anything in return. You can stand on your own, you know, those things, your, your, your way you are empowered, um, you see your perspective of things again it's just really like nothing i known before and beforehand i was intimidated by it um and that's what scared me you know when things again when you don't understand something and you're scared by something you have a tendency to fear it and to dislike something and even going to the point of hating it um but now it's the went to the other what's the opposite of hate which is love and so this is where they are now um, in understanding this perspective. So 
Um, he said, I know it's real. And now because I know it's real, I don't want to let it go. So this divine masculine is finding ways um, in which to make sure that they're finding a way back to you or they're doing what they need to do. Um, they're like right now uh, is more than that to me. And he's really ready to really, um, instead of this being in secret, he's ready to put this on show on display. They, they going to find out what really love is. Rich is really getting in alignment with the soul contract or the soul agreement or what they signed up for. Which is, again, when you talk about the twin flame relationship, that or connection... And it can be kind of both. We kind of flow in and out of both. It's a relationship. It's a connection. You got to remember we're human. So we have to share both how we relate to each other. But then we know that deeper again that it is about a connection too as well. Excuse me. Um, and that's again where we were again being a spiritual being, having a human experience. Like somebody say, we always think that we're the human and spirit is inside the body. I always see those little commercials they have on YouTube, but they say it's opposite. It's the spirit and the body is inside of the spirit. And we have to again, learn how to balance both of them. It's the yin and the yang energies. And this is where we are in knowing that, that we have to again, be able to show and display our relationships to others so they can be able to learn what is truly love is like she said this is real it's more than that to me whatever kind of way you're trying to label it by society standards this is not what it is and it might look a little bit more funnier it might look a little more different than what it is but i guarantee you this is really true love because this person i'm feeling like that people really look up to this divine masculine they really feel like they got a good head on their shoulders um, but when it comes to love, they're a little kind of like, ooh, 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 don't say nothing to them, you know, how they go through this, or don't say nothing to them, you know, how they go, we, we, we just gonna ride along with it, because we know this is gonna be like a fad, this will be good, and this relationship start off in the summer, and it be ended by winter, or October, you know, and this is where it is, however, it is more, and they know that it's more. And so, again, this divine masculine energy feels that it's time to take it to the next level and let other people see what it is truly to be loved. And even at times, I feel like with this divine masculine, you got to remember, again, going back to that saying by being a state of human, when he does have those human moments, he's going to go dig deep right on up in there and says. I'm going to find a way because I'm not going to let these people win and think that this, again, that I'm crazy for falling in love with her. I know how much that she means to me. I know how much she's valued. They might not see her, but she's a diamond. She might look like a lump of coal to them. But when I know that through everything below the surface, this one is a treasure to be had. And this is where this divine masculine energy is. I'm trying to see because I'm kind of like really just that. Do they want me to go into anything as far as that with this popcorn love um, person? Because I'm, they're really pretty much trying to clear with the uh, the end. Because whatever is a situation that I believe that it's a couple of them that they're in this situation by being a karmic relationship or some type of marriage or some kind of thing that they kind of uh tangled in like uh jada smith said entangled in um they feel like again that um they want out uh, uh of this um situation and this is what they because now they're looking at this that they've been talking to people. And I think I did one way back about this, this DM talking to people trying to get their perspective on it. And some of them, a lot of them ain't understanding. And like, man, you know where you at is good. And it's like, no, nah, I'm telling you, I really didn't met the one. This ain't the one. And I really want to get out. This things is not working out like it should. And you know it. And But they're kind of talking them to kind of stay into it. Um, and this is where, again, the call of, I would say the call of the wild or the call of the soul or the yearning of the soul or the calling of the heart has got to be much louder and more pronounced and more stronger to pull 
That's why, again, with the divine feminine energies or whoever that outer expression from themselves has got to get to the point that they are really strong and knowing this is what they want. Because if you wavering, they waver and it's not helping them to really be strong. I'm hearing them say I could be strong enough for the both of them because I know for the both of us because I know you what I want. OK. All right, then. So that's true, you know, and, and I, you could be 20 percent wavery and 80 percent. I'm winning. I know I want this person. You know, we got to remember it's human. We look on the outside the illusions, but we got to have a stronger reserve that we like. Yeah, I have those moments. But at the end of the day, at the foundation of it all, I know I want my person. You know, I, I have my days, but I know I want a person at the end of the day. You know, I want what's best. This is something better. But I know I want what God wants me or whatever universe wants me to align with, which is the best um, expression of how he loves me is being expressed through this person. And if that's what is coming through as my twin flame, soulmate, or whomever you all call by the labels of it. I call it, you know, the outer expression of, of me, because it's still me. Uh, then I want it. Who best to take care of me and to love me but me? Okay, rather than whatever expression that is in. I'm the female, they're the male, whichever way it is. So right now, the energies that they're in is, again, is magician. They are. They're looking at themselves in the mirror. They're trying to balance themselves, too, as well, as far as the energies of yin and yang by looking at things in the past, looking at becoming a lamp to their own feet, getting enlightenment, knowing what path that they need to actually go ahead and go forth through, leaving the illusions behind them in the past, and really going off of intuition and awareness, and truly becoming the divine that they're supposed to by balancing both the energies, the divine feminine and divine masculine, or as one of my kids that did, Report the good and evil, the good and the bad and the ugly. Understanding that, again, by them alchemizing the situation where they are, they're going to create change and they're going to create alignment. Five and three together makes the number eight, which you call a rebirth or harmony or infinity. Like you say, once I have, I ain't letting her go. You forget that. She ain't, she, she off the market or he off the market. You, you hang that up and you ain't nobody going to get no opportunity to have this because I already know. So, again, they have that, again, that energy being able to flow, which is that balance of the divine feminine and divine masculine within and the divine feminine and divine masculine uh, energies without. Those things. Let's see what's going on with the divine masculine energies. Ooh, Lord, have mercy. That's a story. It's quite a bit from the other one, too. Okay, like I said, he knows he got to take action on this doubting that he's having. He's doubting uh, a lot, a doubting of from the outside, correct me. It's the outside people doubting him as far as his um, discernment about really about this person and going after this. You know, a lot of people are like, yeah, are you sure? Whatever it is in the past, he's been very wavery. I'm seeing 1155. So he's trying to balance and he's trying to create this change to go from five plus five equals 10. Understanding he's going to have to start back over again, um, again with this. Um, and it's be like a perfect 10, which is leveling and really going to the next level in ascending. He understands that really right now in his thinking, um, there's a conflict and is thinking, I see toxicity, not only in the way he's thinking, but I'm picking up too, is the toxicity about the way somebody around him is thinking too, and the people that's around him. And it's like, it's becoming, it's tainting the way in which he's really thinking about, like, I really want this person. And me listening to you all is starting to make me feel toxic and doubt that I know that this is truly popcorn love. I'm feeling also, again, about him saying I can do this too, but I'm feeling like I, I see him like in the center, and I'm seeing like a circle, and it's like all these other people uh, around is trying to suck him back into it, and it's toxicity. He can't really, divine masculine energies can't really go off of these people because they already are toxic anyway. It's like, I don't believe in no true love, no way. And also because of the way you've shown yourself in the past lets me know I can't really trust that you're going to try to make something else last. That's why I heard you because I'm seeing you when you fell on your ass. 
you know, and when it comes to love. So I, I don't know about this. It's the catalyst role. Catalyst to me always so represents the karmic. The karmic's role is causing him to have this great pool to get out of the situation or this great pool to go on ahead. The catalyst can also be the divine feminine energies too, which is also giving him a great pool to say, come on out of this thing. This tug of war. Let's bring that little flag over to our side so we can claim, uh, claim victory on this. So there's also this gotten him to this point. Uh, as well, uh, cheating. This all uh, this came out in the other one. So they're telling me in some ways the popcorn love and the foolish heart DMs could be the same thing, and this could be a continuation um, as well. So we got it two ways. Um, cheating, some action, uh, and it came out after the callous card. So it came after what our callous card to me is another word for karmic. So the karmic has been called cheating. That's the actions that's been taking place on that. Um, we got the moon here because there's been some illusions um, that's been taking place about that. Looks like to me it sees this masculine energies is now seeing that that person um, is really fading into the background. Um, I'm seeing the, the, the water there to me and it's almost like to me it's like fade to black like an ending of a chapter to me when I see it. It's like fade away and she's got a back towards which means walking away so um because of that he might be imagining or seeing that or really saying you know this is really i'm thinking about daydreaming or he's really thinking about this or like i'm in this magician mode and i'm really saying i've got to make this manifest she's got to kind of walk away because to me it's, again it's like it's, it's sitting by the ocean they've had their moments where it's been ebbs ebbs and flows tide comes in goes away in and out uh, when it comes to emotions about this uh as well um the moon also can be also re representative of it goes two ways um, I'm looking at, at, at the pattern of the, how the cards went to. Moon could also be, again, the divine feminine energy, seeing that she might be ready to uh, walk away and saying, again, it's starting to fade. I'm seeing water again. And this water is now coming back to shore. So now all of the emotions and things are now flowing back towards the divine masculine instead of going away. Um, so this is where he is now with the divine masculine energies and seeing that again, some things are kind of fading, um, away when it comes to the karmic situation, but maybe he is also with the divine feminine energies, bringing it towards he's emotional right now. He's, as they, as the kids say, he in his feels, uh, right now, he feels very vulnerable in this place that he's in right now. Um, something about the social media. Uh, two is playing a part on um, the social media. Also, I get several things. Social media also because I tell you this person is very um, kind of highly revered too. Um, people looking at him and his um, movements and things that he actually do to kind of like, you know, oh, I could be able to do this too. Um, the lifestyle is on there on social media. There's he, he's feeling kind of vulnerable about some things that maybe have been posted or put out there about social media. Social media has been a very a big influence um, on his life. Um, really kind of helping to say about what things that things that he or she does. Um, in life, I don't know what I think is going because I had already had did the battery, so that don't make no sense to me. Um, I'm hearing the hear the fire alarm going on, off thing. Um, so the social media too as well. So I'm gonna move off of that. So in case you do it again, I know my be calling me talking. About, it's going off. So social media, something about the social media too, as far as how it's viewed, maybe you've even seen the cheating on social media. Uh, I feel like in some ways it's kind of, he's kind of scared to make moves. Oh, Jesus. Clear. Playfulness. So he's feeling really kind of, like I said, he had a younger vibe, younger energy uh, about some things too as well. Um, that 
but he wants to really get into the flow of things when it comes to his divine feminine energies. Uh, wants to really become um, more of a natural swing of things. He wants to recapture romance. He really feels like being in this relationship with this divine um, counterpart is like really, it's, it's just a, a, a breath of fresh air. It's got such a vibrant and a youthful energy, even when he's with his um, person. He can feel that all the time. He don't feel so old and so tired uh, and tied down um, with like the person that he's with now. That person makes him feel old, makes him feel like he's aged a lot uh, with that. But when he's with his person, um, he feels very young, vibrant, very playful. Uh, and it brings out, again, the yang energies. Helps him when he's with his person to be able to receive and give love. It's a, it's a fire. It's an energy. Um, I'm seeing star. It's just magical. And this is what he really wants uh, with this person. And this is what is being called to him. Why he wants to be in this relationship like that. Um, with his popcorn love. Okay. Uh, and it almost looks like popcorn. <laughs> like it's popping it's exploding clear how can the divine feminine energies um help with this divine masculine now he went in oh this interest at the bottom of the pile or the top of the deck or whichever way you want to see this jumped off to me equality if someone cannot reciprocate my same efforts I do not continue to try harder. I take it as a sign that we may not be on the same page at this time. This goes to him as far as talking to these people. He needs to stop talking to them. I, I do that a lot in life. When people, we not on the same page, they stuck on what they are, you want to call stuck on stupid, or they stuck on what they believe system is. I don't even argue with them because I know that I feel the way I feel. They feel the way they feel. And we're not going to meet up on the same page. So I just let that stuff go. And I feel like, again, too, this is a fork in the road that whomever they are with, they feel like they're not getting their needs or whatever love is not being reciprocated like it is when it is with this popcorn love or with the outer expression or the divine one or the twin flame or the soulmate. It's just not expressed the same way. So this is what, again, um, equality. This is what they're asking for. So, again, some things that they have to do is for divine feminine energies in order to help, if this feels like this is you, and to get yourself in alignment and help to counteract that, it says memories. I do not focus on what is already gone. I choose to show up fully for myself and others in the present moment. So it don't matter how he was in the past. Maybe he was like everybody's accusing him for real flighty when it comes to love, real flirty and things then. He didn't, as the old folks say, he didn't let grass or she didn't let grass grow underneath her feet because she was always moving on to the next person. Don't worry about it. Let the memories be in the past and let that go. That sounds like my uh, podcast that I did. Does looking into the past really help? And again, I always remember what Kathy D saying. Sometimes it's like you're picking at a scab and you're not letting it heal. This is, again, you can't go back and change how it was. All this stuff is, again, as uh, Daniel Boom said, we don't take L's. We take lessons. We just learn on this project. So there ain't no losses on that. It's the, it was a lesson learned, and we can move on. So this is what they have to do. Morning, I realized that all endings are opportunities to start a new Again, in the Divine Feminine Energies morning, getting ready to, again, let go, let God or let the universe, understanding that that's how it was, understanding that where you are, you're going to have to release about maybe if you are high on social media, you're scared about how people are going to look at you now. Um, because you had such a looked upon reveal as a role model or so very much revered in the social media eyes what's going to happen you're going to mourn that 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 might be over with that you're going to mourn the relationship that you're in that you, again you thought it was going to be xyz and now it's not so you're going to have to mourn that that goes maybe this links into the one with the foolish heart about the broken heart and the cycles you're going to have to again mourn that 
those are the things, types of ways and choices that you made in the past. This is not you now, or this is a choice that you have made now in a relationship that you have signed up for or contractually married or whatever like that. And so now you've got to mourn that again, things didn't happen like you were. It's lessons to be learned about that and move on. It was something that I had seen about that. It's okay. It's beautiful. Oh Lord. It was that one of my I am things they sent me. And I think I don't, I don't have that one. And it was talking about how, um, no, because I, I tapped into it, um, talking about how um, that is beautiful. I'll try to may remember. I'm not going to promise because I forget. Uh, it was really, long story short, that it's just beautiful just by you just trying to do that, trying to do something. That's uh, It's beauty in just doing that. You know, look at that. Look at the silver lining about that. You know, you did try the marriage. It didn't work out. You know, you thought it was in the moment it was. And then, you know, some things have a way of turning and fading out. And understand that's the process of life. Okay. Um, next thing is awareness. I want you to understand that um, I am aligned with my purpose. And so this is where, again, that right now that this call, uh, being more in line with your popcorn love, you got a more of awareness by being in this situation, by being in the, what you call the karmic situation. You have more of awareness about what you want now in love, uh, the lessons that you learned in the past, too. You got more of awareness about what not to do and what to do. So this is where it is there. So, again, divine feminine energies, you need to have a more of awareness where you are in the situation, too. Mistaken. It's okay to be wrong and accept that you will make mistakes. That's why I was talking about it. it is a part of human experiences. So accept these flaws with ease. I just talked about that. I didn't even look at this. Alienation. The act of isolation st stems from fear of intimacy. Do not take this behavior personally or try to force anyone to open up. Again, I feel like you might have to find yourself alienate from things that no longer serve you, that don't align with where you want to go where you want to be, you want to be with your popcorn love, and so you might have to alienate yourself from that. You might have to, again, take the love back. If you've been alienated, look and see about, again, what things that you need to do, again, to make your feel self that you haven't been triggered by abandonment issues or things of that nature, and understand that, again, alienation might be good because, again, you no longer resonating with this person, this person, place, a thing. That is a blessing in that. And so, again, uh, maybe beforehand you might have um, cut off your person, had alienated them because of fear of intimacy, but it seems like now you understand that, again, you might have alienated this DM. This is what I'm picking up. And so you will fear because you're scared of being intimate to be invulnerable, just like they are. But now with you feeling that this person seems like, again, through this message, that they're on their way back to you, there's the divine feminine energies with that. Again, work with that. Understanding, again, that um, do not take this uh, behavior personally. What they had did in the past, you know, that's the way they were acting. They were acting towards their, uh, uh, and a product of their environment, product of the situation. Now look when this person comes back to you again, giving them a clean slate. And that's what I've been learning here lately. I thank God for my bestie learning me that uh, with that, which is again, this clean slate, like, hey, you know, that had happened. That was in the past. We pray and hope we take the, that you have learned from it. And this is going to be just really a day by day process. Um, and us choosing, just like an alcoholic, I choose not to take the drink. We have to do this in this process that we choose to choose our person daily. That's even in marriage. I choose to be present in my marriage. I choose to be with this person. This is going to be a daily thing, okay? And don't force it when days you say, I can't, it's just too much. I still remember what was done. You Okay, don't force yourself to be in it. But again, Try to go back and say, I'm going to reset and try this again. Remember that again, not to take personally what had happened and what occurred. Okay. All right, then. So that's for the divine feminine. So that is the end of this jukebox reading. I had to get those two out. That was on my heart so very heavily um, today. So again, popcorn love. If you need any, um, any services, 
uh, you say, oh, I like that. That seems like I want to kind of deep dive into it. The song has been coming to me. I can look at the song, whatever's coming, and then also do a reading based off of that jukebox message. That's a different one. Um, and you wanted to take more deep dive. Why is this song keep coming to you? What is this meaning? What is they trying to say um, behind it? And I could do that too as well. Okay. All right then. As always, stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascended. I'm going to stay and I'm going to go. Remember to subscribe. Click, like, share, and subscribe to this station. All right. Until next time.